This week, we're gonna try and repair everything that isn't working on the bus. If you guys watched last week's video, you guys saw that we went on our first trip successfully in the bus. We're off. We'll see you later. I hope that we're not gonna get stuck up in here. It is a bit icy and slushy, which was, it was awesome. It felt so good to finally get out there. But there were definitely some problems with the bus and today we're gonna try to fix those. We have a few things. One of them is this shower wall. I don't know what which wall it is. I have no idea, but this bathroom wall, it's squeaking like crazy when you're driving, especially on a bumpy road. It squeaks like crazy, it's so obnoxious, it's so annoying. And I think the problem might be that I didn't screw that into the ceiling when I installed it originally. It's just kind of like a free floating wall, which might look kind of ugly, but I got brackets to try to screw into the ceiling here just to see if maybe, just maybe, it'll cut down at least a little bit on some of the squeaking. Another thing, I gotta recaulk some of the seams in the bathroom like that. Uh, as you can see, some of the seams got a little cracked just probably from the weather changes because it's been cold and then hot and then cold and then hot because the heater install and whatnot. Uh, you guys saw these drawers. Leah was closing the drawers the whole time I was driving because apparently the push to slide drawer locks don't really work that well. So I got two different solutions to try out, especially on this one. This one kept flinging out. But first and foremost, before I do anything else, uh, before the sun goes down today, I have this code on the dash. Honestly, owning a diesel is a pain in the butt, man. Check this out. Exhaust fluid quality pour. With these newer diesel vehicles, there's a separate tank for DEF. It's diesel exhaust fluid, and it just kind of cuts down on the emissions and whatnot. And I think what happened was I had the old stuff in the tank, I refilled it with new stuff, and I think the two mixed together and it threw off the balance, so now I'm getting this message. This is a very frequent message, apparently, from my research in a lot of diesel vehicles, and it's very frustrating. I got this siphon, and I got some new DEF, so we're gonna give it a go and see what happens. All right. It's always a first for everything, yeah? First time using a siphon now, too. It's not even wet. What's the deal, bro? I'm shoving it as far as it goes, but the end's not even wet, so... Uh, as you guys know, there's uh, never an easy task when it comes to the bus. I'm gonna take this off and take this fill hose off and stick it directly in the tank instead. And that should work, so fingers crossed. This is the hose, we got the hose off, so we're just gonna siphon directly from here now. There we go. I think we're good. I think I siphoned it all out. I ended up getting like probably one and a half full buckets. I think hopefully the problem will be solved. We'll probably go on a little drive later to clear the code. All right, so now that that's done outside, I'll probably go on a little drive later on tonight just to try and clear that code on the dash and see if it worked. And then we'll also talk about some travel plans while I drive, it'll be a little talk and drive. For now, we have quite a bit of work to try to get done inside here. Let's get into it, let's finish off the work. Got these little uh, like slide thingies that might work. I'm not entirely sure if they will though because my drawers are out from the face of the actual kitchen itself. I also got these, it's kind of like a push to slide so I'm kind of hesitant about it because it's what's on there now and, and it doesn't work. Uh, but maybe the magnet would be better. I don't know, I have two options. We're gonna just kind of play around and see what might be better. To be honest, I think I'm just gonna send it and put this on and see if it works. I'm just gonna do it like right here. So this new one kind of operates like a push to slide as well, but like push to slide with a magnet. So when you push it in, it locks in, and when you push it out, it comes back out. So if I push it in like this, it's pretty good. And then if I push on it like that, 
to disengage the drawer slides themselves, it stays on because of the magnet until I pull it. So that's kind of good. So I'm gonna put two of those on there so I have a little extra strength. And if it still doesn't work when we're traveling, I think I can probably do this as well. I could probably put this latch here and this latch here, this hook here, so that way it just hooks in place. I'm gonna go with these uh, push to slide magnet things first because I think that overall, that's gonna be the better bet. Okay, so I ended up putting three of them on. So push in and then pull. We have one, two, three. The magnets, one, two, three. So with that drawer done, for now at least we're gonna move on i realized when we were out here last time that we don't have any coat hangers so i'm gonna put a coat hanger right here so we have somewhere to kind of put our winter coats or our raincoats or whatever we're wearing to dry off because right now uh i just throw it on the driver's seat and it's not the greatest spot for it like i do that a lot but i just realized that i wasn't recording but we have a coat hanger so that's pretty nice there we go pretty good how's that put that there for now and let's get into bathroom caulk before moving on there's actually one other little thing that I forgot I needed to do so right now this wall is rubbing up against here it's because of the crazy temperature changes in here with the diesel heater and then it's freezing cold so the wood expands and contracts so I'm gonna put one of these little brackets which I'm probably gonna use for the shower right in here as a little spacer and now we have some space where it doesn't rub so since uh, this shower is kind of standalone and it's not screwed into the ceiling I'm gonna just kind of put these brackets on I think and try it out just put like one here one down here one down there I, I don't know I might just have to deal with the squeaking uh, but I guess we'll find out. I'm not crossing my fingers on that. I don't think it's really going to do much of anything. Uh, at this point, I'm honestly kind of wondering if it is the insulation because the squeaking sounds a lot more like insulation than the foam board did. Or than the, yeah, like the, the inner foam board in here in the walls, the waterproofer. We have the seams caulked back up in the bathroom, looking mighty fine. So bathroom checked off the list. I think I'm gonna go on a little drive here soon and see if that uh, code for the def is off the dash. It's the next day, I decided I needed to put a second one in there um, because of how much I dumped out. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the second one in and then we're gonna run it and see and hopefully the code clears up. Okay, well, we're supposed to get like a weird snow squall uh, in a couple of minutes. Saying that it's gonna be whiteout conditions, so I'm not gonna drive the bus during that, but I am gonna turn it on and see if I can get the exhaust system to filter that code off without driving anywhere. If I can't, then I'll wait out the storm and I guess I'll go afterward. <laughs> stay for a minute there's the snow so uh, yeah I'm not gonna drive now because it is really windy out so uh, fast forward literally like two two minutes check this out oh my god oh my god it's dumping snow I'm gonna turn this off um, and the code did not clear but we'll see about later guess I'll just talk about my travel plans right now uh, while it's dumping snow Delicious. I do love my coffee this is honestly something I could get used to this is pretty nice just hanging out in here the heat is on it's nice and warm in here it's like a house let's talk about travel plans I'm so excited for what's coming up Leah and I are both gonna dip on out of Pennsylvania cut out some of the rest of winter here and we're gonna head south. I have some really cool plans. I don't wanna to say too much, but it rhymes with bark biving. We're going bark biving. I'm going bark biving. Leah's not gonna join me, but I think you guys might get it if you've been watching my videos for a while. Something that I'm really excited to do, I'm really scared to do. Uh, I have some other plans of other things I want to do. I'm going to make some videos in the Everglades. I'm going to make some videos on the way down and on the way back. There's a cool thing at the end of Key West, which would be a really good video. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, I think you guys are going to see a side of me that you haven't seen yet because 
obviously I've said it the whole build I'm not a builder this isn't what I do but yeah um, I guess without further ado guys I'll see you next week peace